guys on the PJ Tour probably can't do it. Like, you're given a certain array of shots. If your lies like that, you can't fight against it. Oh, Shaler. That's the one. All right, what's up, everyone? We're back here out at TPC Craig Ranch. Figured I'd make a video on how to hit big flop shots. I don't know, I kind of like getting up around the greens and your playing partners or whoever you're playing with, they kind of know that you're in a screwed spot, but you end up getting up and down and it just feels nice just kind of escaping and making pars everywhere. It's kind of the same idea with my whole up and down game that I play sometimes, but there's a lot of different things I kind of think about for flop shots. I figured I'd kind of go over with, with you guys and also play some holes while we're doing it. I kind of forgot where the wind is here. Yeah. Oh, that's not fading. I think that wind's pushing it. Uh oh, I might be in a bunker. Dicey. Hey, I'm just playing holes till we get to around the green and then we'll hit all these flop shots. Don't click off the video just yet. We're, we're getting there, okay? I'm just gonna hit some shots, get to the green, and we're gonna flop it around there. 67. Go, go. Jesus, that is short. It's not my best effort there, Shaler. What do you think we're gonna shoot for four holes today? Two under. Two under. Yeah. You're finishing with a par five. Par five. And we got this almost drivable par four that I've already screwed up. So yeah, probably oh, yeah. not going to bury this one unless we, you make this. Hey, don't say that. I'm going to make this putt. <laughs> mm. All right. On to the flops. Show me the flop. All right. So we're going to pick like something kind of not straight uphill just so I'm not cheating. Get something flat ish. This looks pretty flat. So I put my club down kind of next to the flag there. That's gonna kind of simulate the front of the green just cause I can't get over how ridiculous it is looking like I'm flopping. So I, I created an artificial like front of the green. So I'm imagining like short of that club is water. Let's just say a bunker, like the, it's just a screwed bunker. So what I kind of like to do on flop shots is try to feel like I pick a aggressive target, meaning like I'm trying to land it maybe three feet short of that club, but I take an aggressive swing at it. So. I choose a target that might be a little bit too short of where I need to be landing it, but because I offset it with a really aggressive swing, my chances of getting it past my overly aggressive landing spot is, is, is pretty good. And that way I can kind of make sure that I'm getting aggressive through the ball here. So that's kind of what I'm thinking on this, on these kinds of flop shots. So that obviously landed past the club there just because I was pretty assertive with my swing there just to make sure it was past my landing spot, which I'm, again, trying to imagine it's short of the club. Let's go for something a little higher here. Go, go. Oh, oh that's close. Is that short of the club, dear Shay? It landed short. Dang, that's one ball in the water. Hopefully you guys get like a decent idea of, like it's not like these shots are a high percentage shots. Like I'm gonna hit a few shots here just so you guys can kind of tell like, there's a reason why we don't hit that many of these kinds of shots if we don't have to. We only hit it if we have to because the, the chances of us like pulling these shots off aren't really like all that in our favor. But we can you can kind of do some things like I'm doing right here with the aggressive swing and the aggressive target to kind of increase your chance a little bit. That should be good. Look at that. Stopping on a dime. Nippy. This is, uh, this is pretty tough here. Dang, Shayla, I wish you could see these lies because these, these lies are not very good. So these balls are in the rough, kind of same mentality, but now I have to also kind of factor in I'm coming out of the rough. So it's again, not gonna go as far. So I gotta be really aggressive with the swing kind of going through the ball. I see a little leaf like three feet short of it. I'm trying to land it past the putter, but I'm looking three feet short at that leaf and then making a really aggressive swing at it. Go, go. That would be a kerplunk. All right, this ball is sitting up a little bit better. I know you guys can't see from over there, but still not a good lie though. Go! Oh, was that short? It looked like it almost landed on the putter. All right, this lie is horrendous. Like I, I can only see like a few dimples on the ball. This is gonna come out super dead and very soft. That's questionable. It's kind of pushed a little bit too far right, but I think it might have landed past. It's not bad. I think that was a uh, four out of six, like landing past the putter at yeah. least. Or some of those other shots weren't all that close to the hole, but I'll try the next hole here. We got 218, this is a hard part three. Well, I guess not like super hard, but all you gotta do is try to hit it on the green. It's just, you got a long club in. I might have the wrong club in. I might need a five, I'm not sure. I only have a four in here. I mean, 
Get over the bunker. Get over the bunker. I don't know if that's really close or if that's like middle back of the green, but I would like option one. Well, uh, I looked really good from the tee box. Hopefully I'm not going to be talking a whole lot about shots. I'm trying to get to the flop shots here. Just playing these holes for fun. Although Shaley told me I need to get to two under, so. That is the goal. That is the goal. Did I hit it? Oh, Shaler! Did you consider that I was going to make a two? I did not expect this to be one of your birdies. <laughs> I'll say that. We're on track right now. Two under through four. I'd be pretty happy with that. Yeah, that'd be solid. That'd be pretty good. Time for the flops. Flopadopolis. Flopadopolis. All right, so for this one, I'm kind of just going over like a little bit of the variables that you'll get because you're hitting flop shots. Like because you're opening up the face so much, I don't know the exact science of what's actually going on, but when you open the face up a lot, it actually makes a bigger difference of like how you come into the ball. If you like come into it more like leaning into it almost i guess like shaft leaning into it body leaning into it almost hitting down into it that ball is going to come out differently than when you like almost try to like release your hands out this way obviously you know there's a little bit of like some of it's because you're adding loft but it's also like i think the difference is like you're interacting with the turf differently too you kind of have to like hit a couple different shots and see what it does like i can open up this club face a lot and kind of lean into it and it's going to come out a little lower and not quite as soft Like that was kind of like, you know, more drivey. I mean, it still spun a lot. It's like, these are kind of the way that you can hit like these lower-ish spinners. But if you want to hit one that's like really soft and high and you get it up quick and doesn't really go that far, you kind of want to just like throw your hands a little bit at it. Make sure you don't like lean into it too much and just like, I guess kind of like hang back at it. It feels like a lot of flip at the bottom. So this is almost going to be hard for me to like get it to the, the putter. kind of bounce the club into that one again it depends on like how you come into the ball like i wasn't trying to bounce it in but it just came in leading edge just a little bit down let me try that again like that that one was just a lot higher and didn't have a whole lot of like forward momentum i don't know how to describe it like it didn't have a whole lot of form momentum to that ball it was just a lot of like just ball going up and landing really soft I'm gonna hit a couple more, but flop shots are really just kind of dependent on how you come into the ball just because you're, ha you're having the face so open. Don't you agree? I agree. All right, so, an and then the other thing I wanna talk about for flop shots, your ability to even hit like a spinning flop shot, like I did in those last few sh shots, it's very dependent on your lie. Like, you I don't care how good you are, if you don't have the lie that allows for you to do it, you can't do it. Like this area, they kind of, I don't know, they, something happened with the fringe, so they kind of sawed it in the fringe again. So there's a bit of sand underneath this fringe right here. You can't quite get the same result if it's if it's like sandy underneath. Like there needs to be a little bit of like a thud underneath the ball. And obviously out here at Craig Ranch, you got zoysia everywhere. So it's just pure lies everywhere you are in the fairway. But like, again, if it's like muddy, you, the club's not going to interact with the turf like the way that you need it to. It needs to kind of like thud and have a little bit of bounce to it. The ground can't be like soft where the, where the club just goes straight into the ground. So, I mean, I'm going to try to hit some of these flops out of this kind of lie, but this is not just looking off of that, how, how much sand just flew up here. Like it's just not, you can't do it from here. Like, just look at, I mean, th these greens are slow, so it's not going to be exaggerated as much, but that ball was rolling out with not a whole lot of spin there. I mean, again, it's just, it's just kind of like tumbling. Like, it had the height. I can get the height. That's more just like opening up the club face, but the turf interaction and the spin that you want to get on the, on the ball, you can't really do it from this kind of stuff. Now, if I move like two feet or two yards out this way, like this ground is a little, looks like a little bit more firmer it's still got a lot of sand under it but we got a little bit of a better chance from here no i mean that, that's just the definition of the ball just that ball just rolled right up the face went nowhere as you can see landed short of the putter and started rolling you're trying to manufacture a shot out of here that you're not even really able to do it's not even allowing for you to do it so just can't really do anything about that Par four here, dead straight, nothing to it. Kind of long, right? It's like 480. Yeah, in the winter it's long, in the summer it's not too bad. Yeah, you're downwind today, so. Yeah. Oh, I got the left today, Shaylar. Little left. I get the car path. <laughs> oh, I hit the tree. I heard it clip it. Heard the tree, right? Yeah. But I don't think it like hit it hard. I think it just touched it. You think? I also almost shanked it, so. Oh, you shanked it and it drew? Yeah, it's kind of. <laughs> All right, 
we got 183 shaler you're right it didn't really hit it all that hard it just kind of clipped it 183 a little downwind probably a flyer i'm just gonna go with a nine though should jump if it doesn't well i'm in the bunker oh god that's a flyer oh dude that thing drated it is in the bunker though the bunky all right shaler glad that ball didn't plug right here because it stayed here for half a second we got a good lie though How you like that, Shaler? That was a pretty tour shot right was there. It? Not gonna lie. You think I can make it with my butterhead cover on? <laughs> Dude, nice. Yes, you sure can. <laughs> All right, one under still. We got the par five coming up. See some more floppers. Some flippy floppers. I guess you guys will tell once Shaler zooms out, but I'm like a good solid 50, maybe a little bit more yards out. So I'm quite a ways out from the green. Now, I don't really hit this kind of shot all that often. I'm gonna say right now, I don't really like doing this. And usually if you are doing this, you are in a very, very bad position. But I do love hitting some sick flop shots where you're almost not even supposed to get this up and down. But you know, I'll give you guys something to kind of give you guys a better chance. I know I said the clock method is not great for flop shots just because of the way that the, the club is entering the ground on the last hole. But sometimes what I like to do when the flop is so far, I want to at least make sure I get it over that that club i basically i'm just like thinking just right off the bat i'm gonna hit a full swing like a like a pretty full swing feeling swing so like literally a swing that looks like this like that's pretty full swing not like all out full swing like a driver but a pretty full swing and then i'm kind of adjusting the club based on that swing and based on what i'm seeing out there and just like making sure i get it this club to look about what it would be to have a full swing and still get it past that that putter or whatever that target is um, that i'm trying to land it on so this is um obviously very field based this is very subjective i can't tell you exactly what angle my wedge is i'm feeling it i'm getting this like preset like full swing kind of feeling and then just adjusting the face based on just feels really <laughs> looked like a lot of spin though i don't know what that looked like Freaking scuff the ball off with the, on the club head. And try that again. Full swing kind of feel, maybe a little bit less of an open face. That looks short too. Okay, that could be it. I'm not sure. I think it had so much spin on it. We'll try some more in the rough here. Going with the theme of just being screwed on this hole. I'm off a down slope. Ball's landing on a down slope, but kind of same thing. I'm almost going with like this, this full shot kind of feel and just kind of adjusting with my club face. Well, that ain't it. Cut that one out, Ernst. No, leave that one in. <laughs> I mean, these, these shots are just ridiculously hard. Go. I mean, that, that rough just adds just another layer of just don't know what the ball's going to do on top of just hitting these massive flop shots. Oh, just short of the putter, wasn't it? I think so, but it was only barely. Right there. It's a good result though for that last one after finally learning my lesson after the first two. But I mean, shoot again, like I'm telling you, if you're in some of these spots where you're required to hit, especially the flops I've been showing you on this green, if you're, hitting, if you're trying to hit those kind of shots, you can't really expect a whole lot out of it. Like if you hit a bad flop from where you are, it's not the fault of the flop, it's the fault of you hitting that shot to get to that place in the first place. I feel like people get mad if they like plug in a bunker or yeah, something and yeah. I'm like, well, you shouldn't have hit it in the you bunker. You shouldn't, <laughs> shouldn't have hit it there in the first place. <laughs> or like if you have a, if you missed an eight foot putt for par, it's like, well, you should have hit your chip shot closer, <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, par five. You can't miss left. I mean, that was stripe there, Shaler. Stripey. I am very happy with that shot. Should be. Very pleased. Usually I'm able to go for the green, but the wind is pretty strong here. I think we got 265, but into, the, into a pretty strong breeze here. So got to make sure this goes a little bit left of the green. Hopefully have a chip up there. Um, oh, you're right, Shaler. 
That might have gotten to the front of the green if I hit it there. That's a that's an aggressive line though if I were to take it out the green. I'm I'm pretty happy with the chip shot there. Yeah, that was decent. That was decent. All right. This shot would be pretty hard if the greens were fast and firm, but it's not, so it's so it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I love your vocabulary. <laughs> Something special. Uh, all right. I got to get this up and down so I can get two unji for Shaler. And you're putting your flop skills to the test. Mm, a little bit. This isn't like a big flop, but I would definitely say this is a little bit of a flop here. Let's hit a, hit a nice one here. This, this should have a good bit of spin here. Oh my God, I thought I almost dunked it. Sheesh. That almost second bounce dunked it. <laughs> I really thought you made that. <laughs> Shaley, should I hit this with my uh, putter head cover again? <laughs> back to back. No, 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 no. no you gotta this make is serious, dude. I gotta make this. Come on, green. Cooperate with me. Hey, 200 through four. It's not bad. How a boy. I will take it. That birdie on that par three was pretty big. Huge. Wouldn't have made it without him. All right, so for this last hole, I feel like a lot of people like seeing a little low skipper. It's a, it's a cool shot. It kind of comes out a little bit low, has a lot of spin on it. Obviously, I mean, if you're on Zoysia, like it's pretty automatic. But if you're on like Bermuda grass, it has kind of like a, like a soft uh, foundation, like a soft dirt underneath it. Good luck. Can't do it. I can't do it. Pros can't, like the guys on the PJ Tour probably can't do it. Like the club just sticks right in the ground. Again, just like what I said on the par three, like you're given a certain array of shots depending on your lie. And if your lie is like that, just can't fight against it. So. We got good lies out here on the zoysia grass at Craig Ranch, so we're going to kind of hit some low skippers. So what I like to do is obviously have the face open, and I like to have it kind of like back, like more towards the back of my stance, kind of like right here. Open my stance up, obviously, and I don't want to have like the handle too far forward. Like I almost want to like put it back in my stance and also have my hand also back as well. I'm almost trying not to cut across it too much, almost like I'm not trying to do this. Like I'm trying to do a little bit more of like a, like club is, club is open, but I'm not cutting across it. Almost like a, I guess kind of like a draw feel through the ball. It's hard to really skip these balls with these soft greens. Also that wind is like propelling that ball up in the air a little bit too. Let's try to hit one a little lower, a little lower, a little skippier. Not a whole lot of spin there. I didn't really catch that all that good. Got a little, little chunky. A little too much dig there. Almost want to like, like not make too much of a divot. Kind of chunked that one too. All right, I think that last spot was a little bit harder because we're a little bit uphill. Grain wasn't really necessarily down. This is almost just like kind of down grain. So this should be a little bit easier to get that low skipper. Again, like it sounds like I'm making excuses, but it's like lies tell you what shots you can and can't hit. Like it was a lot harder to hit from over here. Let's see if we can hit that shot from this lie here. There we go. That club just kind of glided through this grass there. Not a whole lot of divot there. No digging. Mm. It's got some grab to it at the end there, right? Yeah. I'm trying to get this one lower. Get, get a little bit more grab. Get a little sick with it here. Ah, not my best. Result-wise, it's fine, but like just not the low skipper that I'm looking for, Shaler. It's not what I'm looking for. Let's hit some more. Also, if you guys think I spin it a lot, I actually don't even really consider myself like a really high spin player around the greens. Like I can't really spin it that much compared to like some players I've seen. Like, I mean, go, go look at Abraham Answer. You guys have probably seen him on Instagram. Like <laughs> what he can do with wedges around the greens is insane. Ah, a little, little rolly up the face. It's just not what we're looking for, Shaler. We'll be better. Mm. <laughs> I love how I'm getting upset at these shots. <laughs> that's a little better. A little too high, but that's got a lot of spin on it. Oh, I guess we're ending on that. That's the one. I guess we're done. All right, so that's it for me today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Obviously finished it off with a nice chip shot there, making it. Bound to make one after all those chip shots. But thank you to my boy, Shaler, helping me film the video. Yes, sir. Don't even know if that's aiming at him. But <laughs> as always, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out when you guys do that. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, guys, if you're wanting my help to improve your golf, I put everything I know into my two programs here. In this one, I show you everything that you need to see in your swing in order to be a good ball striker. And if you don't see these things, I show you how to fix it. 
and in this one I show you the course management knowledge that elite level players use to play good golf and these are the things that I wish I knew a long time ago. If you want more information check out the links in the description below also if you'd like to help support me and my journey it'd be awesome to have you as one of my patrons where you get access to a private group where i do live streams after my tournament rounds have exclusive content for patrons only and even do the occasional giveaway with signed putter head covers information about that is also in the description below